Alright, so we're looking at part D of question 1 and it reads the ratio of teachers to male students to female students in a school is 3 to 17 to 18. If the total number of students in the school is 630, determine the number of teachers in the school. So let's look at this ratio that we're given. The ratio we're told of teachers to male students to female students is 3 to 17 to 18. It says here if the total number of students in the school is 630. Now bear in mind that when you add the number of male students to the number of female students you'll get the total number of students in the school. So we can rewrite this ratio as teachers to students. And we know teachers represent three parts. And male to female students, we have 70 to 18. We can add those parts together to get the total number of students, the male plus the females. And that will give us 35 parts. 17 plus 18 is 35. Now, 35 parts actually represent the 600, 35 parts represent the 630 students in the school. Do we know the amount of teachers? No, we're trying to find that amount. Let's use X. So what we can do, we can set up an equation here easily. We can say, okay, 3 over X equals 35 over 600. 30 or we can say x over 3 since we start from the bottom x over 3 is equal to start from the bottom uh, 630 over 35 that's one way of actually solving for the number of teachers in the school so remember this represent parts and these represent the amount of persons. Another way we can do this, we can say uh, 35 parts represents an amount of 630 and so we can move from this to find one part we represent 630 divided by 35 so basically if you look at this as an equation we divide this side over here by 35 give us 1 and this divide this side over here by 35 as well so one part is 630 over 35 therefore we can find what three parts represent. Remember we're trying to find what three, part rep three parts represent the amount of teachers. So three parts, if one part represents 630 over 35, then three parts represent 630 over 35 and this is one part. So we multiply by three to get the amount equivalent to three parts. And this will be the number of teachers, three parts. And if you look at this, let's go. So this is the second way of doing it. Now, of course, if we would have solved for x here, would have gotten something similar. Let's see. We wanna find x, so we're gonna isolate the x. So we'll multiply both sides of this equation by three. Multiplying this side by three, what we in fact do. let's see here multiplying this side by 3 we end up with we end up with so what will happen this 3 will cancel with this 3 and we ended up with x equals 630 
over 35 multiply by 3 and so if we look at both of these methods we end up with the same solution so so putting this in our calculator the solution will give us 54 in the school guess the three parts representing teachers is equivalent to 54